What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we are back with brand new WWE action figure news for you. We do have some epic stuff coming at us. As you guys know, we are slowly approaching WWE Elite Series 100. I think we even leaked out, what, Elite 95 before it was out. I mean, we've done this for, for multiple years now on the channel. If you guys want the up-to-date news on leaks and Elites lineups and Unrivaled lineups and potentially lines coming soon, Ultimates, all the different stuff, man, subscribe to the channel, turn on the bell. But today, we do have Elite Series 98 revealed to us. Now, I think this is from a website that actually posted it up too early for pre-order or something like that, and it was leaked out there to the masses, but this is pretty epic news. I'm, I'm pretty excited for it. Some, some of it's head-scratching, but we'll get into that, but I'm actually kind of pumped for some of this wave, and we're going to get into that right now. So if you guys don't know about Elite Series 96 and 97, we do have videos covering both of those Elite Series. You guys know that we just got Elite Series 94, and Elite 95 is about to drop any day on Ringside Collectibles. With Elite 96 and 7 soon to follow and then of course 100 will be on its way very very soon. So getting into the lineup man let's start off with the first figure in the line and it's going to be none other than Big E. Big E is the first Elite in Elite Series 98. Now this kind of comes as a shock to me. You guys know that he was WWE Champion right? He had his short little run there. He's on the shelf right now after a scary injury that I was actually in person for which was very very scary. Hopefully he will be back in the room sooner rather than later but Big E is getting another Elite here in 98. Didn't expect this. Very very crazy especially given the fact he is in Elite Series 95. So that kind of throws me off right there. I do not understand why we get another Big E back to back like that. They usually space his Elites out a little bit better than that, but that's only three series. That's, that's kind of crazy, but it's the truth. That's what we're getting here. We'll have to see what comes of that with Elite Series 98 Big E, but he is in Elite Series 98, so we'll have to play that by ear. The next figure in the set is going to be Randy Orton. Now, Randy Orton, no stranger to the Elite line, has a ton of figures out there. You guys know that we recently got a SummerSlam Elite, we recently got a Top Talents Elite, and not too long ago, we got the Elite 90 Randy Orton in the white gear from WrestleMania 37, which was an absolute unit of a figure that's beautiful, so... The more the merrier for Randy Orton. I just hope it's some good trunks. You know, it's it's good double joint arms. Maybe they'll update his formula a little bit better. The only problems I have with his figures right now are his arms are just a tad bit skinny. I'd like to see them bulk up the arms just a little bit. But I love Randy Orton figures. I love collecting them. I'm all for another Randy Orton Elite. The more the merrier is one of my favorites of all time. So more of him is, is fine with me. But one thing is that is interesting to note, if he's in Elite 98, would they put him in Elite 100? Kind of disqualifies him, I feel like. And we're going to know about Elite 99. Whoever's in that set, it may disqualify some other talent from being in Elite Series 100. Not that Randy Orton could have been, or, or, you know, maybe he wasn't on your radar for Elite 100, but he, it was definitely in the back of my mind, like, could it be? You know, one of those guys that's been around since the very beginning of Mattel in Elite Series 1, they could brought, they could have brought him back in Elite 100, and I guess there's still a possibility that he could. I just don't see them going Elite 98 to Elite 100 back-to-back -back like that, but crazier things have happened. I've seen it done, but let's move on to the next figure, which is going to be my man, Finn Balor, who has desperately needed a new Elite figure. I say desperately needed like it wasn't five seconds ago that his Elite 82 figure came out, but Elite 82 was actually a while back. I mean, that's 16 series between there. It's kind of sickening to think about Elite 82 being that old. It was at the end of 2020, I think, and we're in the middle of 2022. It's kind of scary, actually. Like, it makes me sick and vomiting to think about Finn Balor not having an Elite since Elite 82, and it feels like that figure just came out to a certain point. So that's kind of scary, but I'm hoping that this gives us a really great formula, double-jointed arms, really great gear. I hope that they get his beard and hair correct. In Elite 82, it was a damn good head sculpt. The beard wasn't perfect, but it was still damn good. The likeness was very good, but he had the short haircut. You know, he didn't have the longer hair, but he has had the longer hair for a little bit now, so I'm hoping that we will actually get a double-jointed nice Finn Balor. The only reason that we wouldn't maybe would be as if it was a demon Finn Balor. Now, I feel like they would specify if it was going to be a demon Finn Balor. We haven't seen a demon Finn Balor in a while, but maybe it could be his matchup with Roman Reigns. Maybe that's going to be what they give us. A demon with nice interchangeable heads, maybe some double-jointed arms, a really great formula, all those things. I can't wait to see what they do for it. Whether it's the demon Finn Balor or regular Finn Balor, it should be a really great figure, and I'm hella excited for it just to see what it looks like, and hopefully it doesn't upset 
get me like Elite Series 70 Finn Balor with the Jack the Ripper gear right there from NXT TakeOver. But moving along in the set, we do have a female in the set, which is going to be Mandy Rose, who has not had a figure in 23 series, which again makes me sick. It was Elite 75, I think, when we got the last Mandy. This one should be super updated. The head sculpt and the whole figure from top to bottom should be completely different. I mean, these, this is going to feature, you know, a brand new head sculpt. They'll probably redo the formula. I felt like her last figure was a bit too skinny for her proportions, but she is going to have double jointed arms. She's going to have nice interchangeability. She should look amazing, so hopefully that will be the case. I'm guessing it'll be NXT Champion Mandy Rose. Should be nice. I can't wait to see what it looks like, but we do have an updated Mandy Rose. It's been a very long time since we got an Elite of her. Which, again, man, when I think about Elite 75 Mandy, I'm like, yeah, we have a recent Mandy, but we really don't. And her basic was god-awful. The Chase version and the regular version were god-awful, in my opinion. So, this Mandy Rose should be really, really excellent. Can't wait to see what it looks like. Again, all these all these images or all these figures that we're learning about right now are going to be shown off to us in render form in about a month right, now, right at SCCC Reveals. They're going to show off Elite 98. They're going to show off Elite 99. And they might, they might announce the lineup for Elite 100. I do not know about that, but we will have to see. The next figure in the set is kind of an exciting one, but because it's the first time in the line, not a big fan of the guy, but it's going to be none other than Rick Boogs. We actually are getting an elite Rick Boogs. I know they're going to make him ginormous, okay? He's a bigger guy, but for some reason in my head, I just imagine them making him just catastrophically huge. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't think they're going to make him like elite Rhino, but I think they're going to make him bigger than he actually is, which is going to be interesting. I could see them using like a Ryback torso or something crazy over the top, massive, which won't shock me. You guys know that they do it for Elias. They did it for Velveteen Dream. Hell, they even do it for Roman Reigns, so I absolutely see them giving him a ginormous torso. They're going to give him gigantic arms. Hopefully, it's a fun figure with fun accessories, but Rick Boogs is the next figure in the set. That one should be an interesting one once we come to it. So, so far in the line, we have Big E, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Mandy Rose, Rick Boogs, and the last figure in the set is going to be none other than Farouk Assad. Now, this is very interesting because this is going to be another Farouk that comes out here, but this is this should be a very specific look. Now, it should be kind of a, I, I know this is just the reference that I get here. It's going to be sort of a Sub-Zero look for him, you know? This is a very early on look at Farouk right here. You know, we've had his WCW look, we've had his Acolytes look, we've had his APA look, we've had his Nation of Domination look, and now we are getting Farouk Assad here, and I'm guessing this is the look that we're going to be getting right here, which is absolutely insane. So it's a bit like a Gladiator-style gimmick. It's, it's very crazy that we're getting this in figure form, you know? I would not expect to get something like this, but we are, you know? Mattel always going out of their way to give us the kind of crazy gimmicks and in, in, in kind of, you know, off-the-wall figure forms, and I think it's awesome to get another Farouk in here. I'm, I'm excited to see what molds we get and, you know, how he looks and how it displays and all these different things. Hopefully, it's a good head sculpt on that guy. I mean, hopefully, it will be one of those figures that, you know, a lot of people search out. Now, I don't know what the collector's edition is. I don't know what the chase is. I would love for one. I would hope the chase is going to be Finn Balor or Randy Orton just because, you know, I, I, I imagine that it'll probably end up being like Mandy Rose or Rick Boogs just because we're probably not going to get elite of those for a while and you guys know how they like to do. But that's your full Elite 98. Big E, Randy Orton, Finn Balor, Mandy Rose, Rick Boogs, and Farouk Asad. Now, we do also have some news on some basic figures that I want to run through really quick. Now, in basic series 136, we're going to be getting Cody Rhodes, Goldberg, Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode and Zia Lee. So this is huge as well. We're getting our first Cody Rhodes back after you know his return to WWE. It is going to be a basic figure. I don't know if it'll be a throwback or a current. I'd imagine it would be a current. Maybe they threw together a really quick head sculpt and then they're just going to use an old body that we've seen before with some crappy deco for a basic. But hopefully the head sculpt will be good. It'll probably be a smiling head or an angry face. Maybe a determined. We'll have to see. But that is basic series 136. Cody, Goldberg, Dolph Ziggler, Bobby Roode, Zia Lee, or Zia Lee, whichever one you want to say. I'm actually a fan of hers, but Dolph Ziggler, I'm excited for his head sculpt as well. Hopefully, it'll be updated. It'll be nice. It'll be really cool to see exactly what we're going to be getting with him right there. I'm, I'm excited to see that. I know we're supposed to be getting an elite of him not too long in the future. Maybe he'll be elite, uh, elite 99 or something like that with AJ Styles or something, but that is going to wrap up the news, man. Elite Series 98 and Basic Series 136 leaked out to us, and I'm excited for it, man. I was hoping to get some more news like this approaching Comic-Con. I bet it won't be the end of the news that we're going to be getting. I expect us to see render images of these at Comic-Con. 
Comic-Con or at the reveals that we're going to be getting in less than three or four weeks or something like that. So that should be really fun. But I'm getting out of here, man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below on Elite Series 98. Are you hyped for it? Do you hate it? Is it awesome? What figures are you excited for? I know a lot of people that are flashback collectors are going to be very bummed out. I, I know, you know, it, one flashback and it's not, you know, the most notable flashback. But maybe I'm wrong. And a random shout out today is going to go to Shadow who says, You are so committed to your stuff, man. Truly love to see it. Hashtag MDT. Really appreciate that, bro. I really appreciate the compliment, man. Sometimes, you know, you, you get in your head about stuff and it's nice to see uplifting comments down there when I go to read those, man. So I really appreciate you guys. But that is going to do it for the random shout out. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Have a blessed day. I'll see you guys next time. Let me know your thoughts on Elite 98 down below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. You cross the line.